When it comes to placing IVs in infants, you may face some unique challenges. In this video, we'll provide you with helpful strategies for starting IVs in our youngest patients. The first step is to identify where you'll place the IV. Begin by applying the tourniquet to better expose veins. Look first in the antecubital fossa or in the hand. There's typically a vein close to the surface. If you can't physically see it, try feeling for it. Hand veins work particularly well for young patients who tend to bend their arms more frequently. The foot or ankle might be another good option. In particular, try feeling for the saphenous vein, which runs just anterior to the top of the medial malleolus. Placing a warming pack on the area can also help with finding a vein. Another location you might try, the scalp. This should never be the first option because it's distressing for parent and child. If you need to try for a scalp IV, a large rubber band can be helpful. And make sure the catheter is directed downward toward the heart. A vein illuminator can also be a helpful tool if you have access to one. It provides a map of the peripheral veins and can make it much easier to locate the hard-to-find veins. Once you've found the vein you'll use to start the IV, you'll then need to choose a catheter. We recommend 24-gauge catheters for infant hands and feet. The 24-gauge catheters come in two lengths. The shorter one is better if the vein is really superficial or if you can see a bifurcation. But in the AC and saphenous, the longer catheter can help prevent an IV from migrating out with movement. 22-gauge catheters may be used for larger AC or saphenous veins. Keeping the infant still is one of the most important steps when placing an IV. The burrito wrap or papoose using a sheet works well by limiting movement of the torso and extremities. An additional person may be needed to help hold the infant while you wrap. For infants under six months of age, a concentrated sucrose solution can help to soothe them. A pacifier, calming music, or breastfeeding can also be comforting. Remember that the vein in an infant is likely to be more superficial than it would be in an adult. The angle is more shallow, which could affect the way you hold the extremity. A tip for getting just the right angle, try placing a towel under the elbow. Once the IV is placed, labs will likely be drawn. A 3 milliliter syringe is typically used when drawing labs from 24 gauge IVs, but it may need to increase based on the size of the patient. It's helpful to pull the plunger back slightly to break the seal before drawing labs. This will reduce the back pressure and allow blood to draw more easily from smaller gauge IVs. There are additional steps that can be helpful in securing the IV, particularly for babies who move a lot. One helpful step is to use an elbow immobilizer or an arm board. Make sure you're continuing to monitor the IV site closely for infiltration. We hope these strategies are helpful the next time you're placing an IV in an infant. For more information, check out the Pediatric Acute Care Education Sessions on the UC Davis Health website.